doing my week 30 decoration tutorial. I know that I haven't um, been very active on Instagram or YouTube. I was kind of feeling overwhelmed trying to catch up on everything and then I was just like, you know what? This is supposed to be fun. I'm not supposed to be stressed out about it and I'm not supposed to feel overwhelmed about it. So I just took a break from everything. <laughs> Whether or not I end up catching up to the correct week um, is not a big deal. So I'm just going to, you know, keep rolling out these videos as I enjoy myself doing them. And yeah, that's the only really update I have. So I should be um, more active again, both on my Instagram account as well as my YouTube channel. Um, I did already contact Erin Condren and let them know the week that I plan on hosting my giveaway. Uh, it should be next week. Um, I really wanted to, I really wanted to do it this week, but I just couldn't get things done in time. So it'll be next week. I will film my review video next week. Should be on a Monday. And then at the end of the video, I will tell you all of the rules and the directions of how to enter the giveaway for the Aaron Codron gift card. Um, like I said before, there will be a chance for a YouTube subscriber to win one gift card and an Instagram follower to win one gift card. So on both of my social platforms, um, you know, there will be one, inner, uh, one winner from each. So yes, that's my little update. So for week 30... This is how it's going to end up looking after the washi tape is placed. So these are the washi tapes that I used right here. So this is non-branded. It comes with the, um, here let me move this. It comes with all of the ones in here. It's like a whole set of 10 of them back here. You can't really see it. Um, so it's, this is just non-branded. This is an empty slim tape and then this is, um, uh, it was sent to me in one of my orders from Lady Evangeli. I can't, I can't remember how to say her name, but um, she has an Etsy store that sells Hema items, and I um, made a purchase from her, and then she included this as a freebie. And it's really pretty, and you know I love floral tapes, so I decided to use that this week. So I'm just gonna move this over, and then move this one over. Okay, so. Taking the um, floral washi tape here, you can try to choose, you know, any kind of floral tape that you have that is similar to it. It doesn't have to be the same exact one. This just happens to be the one that I chose to use this week. But if you are looking for it, check out, um, I'll, I'll just put her Instagram name down below. Because she's on Instagram too, that's how I found her. And this is not straight, so I just peeled it. And then redid it, and then taking my X-Acto knife, I'm just going to trim that right there. Nice and easy and quick. <laughs> and is there any excess over here? There is a little bit. I mean, you could leave it, but whatever. I'll just trim that little bit. <laughs> it really is, it really, really was just a little piece. Okay. And then, taking the empty striped washi tape here, has the nice pink and green on it, which I like. I like to place that right in the middle, like so. And then taking my exacto knife again, trim. And this one goes right here. And then there's a little bit of excess here, and trim that. Then taking this lime green non-branded washi tape, I like to turn the page upside down. It just uh, gives me more control when it comes to placing the washi tape on. I'm going to unroll it. I've actually been using this green a lot. <laughs> and um, what's great about this washi tape, you know, like I said, it comes in a set of 10 different colors, is that it fits perfectly. Okay, this is a lot harder than... I thought it was going to be. <laughs> but it just fits perfectly in this bit, in like in this spot right here. If I did it correctly and straight. Like that. It just fits perfectly. Like the width of it is just perfect for that top line. And then I trim that. And then I'm going to put this back where it belongs. Right there. 
And then, oops, there's a little bit of excess right here, so I trim that. Ah, okay. So, now that all of my washi tape is in place, I am going to move this back so that you guys can see it. Place the protective cap back onto your X-Acto knife so that you don't hurt yourself. Put that back. Okay. Now, I do have some sticky notes here. I wish I had some really nice floral ones to go along with the floral theme, but I don't. But I did, um, you know, find out that I have a lot of birds. <laughs> so, you know, um, sometimes birds go on flowers. Okay, this is like totally like me making an excuse basically because I don't have any floral sticky notes. But I mean, birds are incorporated with flowers, you know, pretty often, I think. Not as much as like um, bees and other insects, but um, hummingbirds are associated with flowers. So I'm just gonna go with this little bird theme. Now, um, I could go with the green bird because there's green here, but then I wouldn't be able to use uh, any any of them from here because there would it wouldn't match because it has the yellow. I could use this guy, which is green, but then if I use the yellow one, I would be able to use both of these. So I would just be adding an extra, like a third color into my little theme here because things are pink and green. But uh, I want to be able to use all of the birdies that I have. So I'm going to grab the yellow one here. You can find these from gilzocraft.com. That's where I got mine. And my repositionable tape runner. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be doing this on this. <laughs> I should be doing this on this. Okay, just like that. Uh, I'm gonna put this guy right here. So that he isn't in the way of the check, check boxes here. And then, uh, I'm gonna put this guy like on something, but then this is down here. It has to be balanced. <laughs> We gotta do this. Okay, I'm gonna take the yellow one from the Smile Tab bookmark tabs. Uh, the brand is J Story. This I got from Jackie, my friend Jackie on Instagram. My decorated bliss. She has a really awesome store. Please check it out because she really sells really awesome um, kawaii goodies. And the good thing about her store is that they're not overly priced at all, and her shipping charges are very reasonable. Some places are very overpriced, which I don't like because. These things aren't that expensive. They're pretty inexpensive. But some stores just like to charge as much as they can get away with. And Jackie does not do that. And then, using this last guy that has yellow and green in it. This is, it says mini marker collection from P Work. This I think I got from Yozo Craft as well. I'm pretty sure. My little tape runner. I'm gonna put this birdie down here. Like that! Yay! So now I have all my birdies on. <laughs> I most likely won't be using, uh, we'll see, hold on, let me grab some other notes. Actually, I can use this, okay. So, let's see. Mm. Okay. Let me grab my other planner to see what I did because I am a week behind to figure out what I had to do. Um, all right, grabbing my little bar black, you know, felt tip marker pen thingy my jig. Go right in the days that I had work. So Thursday, 
I had work 9.30 to 8. Friday this week I worked. I didn't have the day with Kev. He had to work as well, so we were both working. 9.30 to 8. Uh, Saturday I called off to spend the day with Kev and then Sunday I had work so 10.30 alright so I have my work days in so Saturday was technically my date day of the week so I'm gonna grab from this set, sticky notes, uh, tree and art. <laughs> this I got from Heaven Sunny, Heaven underscore Sunny on Instagram. I'm gonna use this yellow one, this one right here, and then I'm gonna put it right down here. Or actually, no, I'm gonna put it here, just because I have to write in what we actually did. And I'm gonna take my, where is it? my Japanese permanent marker pen that writes on sticky notes and uh, washi tape so like I always do date day with Kev and I'm gonna write what we actually did we went to brunch at one of our favorite spots, Cafe La Mode. It's a Lebanese place and it is amazing. Okay. Um, bum, bum, bum. Okay, I had to pick up my cousin Nancy on Sunday. And then pick up my dad and Andrew's cake. Pick up uh, Paris Baguette. We celebrated my dad and my younger brother Andrew's birthday on Sunday. They both have the same birthday, um, which is pretty cool. So, um, yeah, we celebrated on that day. So I'm going to grab my green marker. Ah. and Andrew's feed A. Put that in. And uh, Friday was my payday. Um, I'm not going to have much to do. I mean, I worked all day, so I don't have much to do that day. And I'm just going to do a little doodle. I'm not very good at doodling. I wish I was. Some people are very talented at it. I just happen to not be. <laughs> Let's just draw a little president guy right here with some curly hair. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then... Just grabbing a Paper Mate Ink Joy Pen. I like to use these for doodling. I'm gonna grab the dark ones again because they don't bleed through and they just add like the right amount of color I think when it comes to my doodles and they don't bleed through which is perfect so I like to use them for coloring in my little doodles um okay so that side is pretty much done um what did I do this what did I have to do this week oh clean out office we plan on remodeling our home office. It's like the family office, it's not mine. So uh, me and my younger siblings have to clean and throw out a whole bunch of stuff. So throw out what we don't use. Donate what is donatable. <laughs> so donate what we can. Okay, the beginning of the week, 
Uh, Monday is... Okay. Um, I'm going to grab the other yellow one from this here. And then put this right up here. Um, what I like about these sticky notes is um, from this set, they're actually really sticky, so you don't even need a tape runner for it. Kev's day off. He's been working a lot lately, but he did have Monday off, so we had a big sushi bar for lunch. And yogurino for dessert. Okay. Uh, Tuesday, I'm gonna just grab my green one again and just write PLL at the bottom for Pretty Little Liars, which I do watch. I did have stuff to do too, so. Pen letters. And I've changed my cover photo. And then. Mm, I'll just do the star. So my order from Pick Your Plum, Plum came in. And my House of Lashes order came in. Okay, my handwriting looks really, really bad, you guys. I'm not taking the time to make this look nice. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and I did stay in with Kev during this day, so... And then Thursday, I just had work, so I didn't really do anything on Thursday. So, oh wait, actually, I did do something. Um, I'm actually going to just use the green one. Hold on. Okay, and then I started watching, this is going to be funny, but <laughs> K-pop star season two, because I didn't finish. Oh wait, no, season, K-pop star season three, because I never started it. Okay, so now I'm going to put these into my file facts and then show you how last week's pages turned out. Okay, so this is how they turned out. And then last week's pages turned out like this. So, I hope you enjoyed watching this decoration tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and for your continuous support. Have a wonderful week. Bye!